Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll show you just how much a mother can love her children in Wolf Children. As always, there are major spoilers ahead, so viewers, beware. Now, let's dive into it. The movie is set in Tokyo, where our main protagonist's daughter narrates that her mom's story might get written off as a mere fairy tale. She reveals that her mom, Hana, fell in love with a werewolf. We then cut to Hana, who was a scholarship student at the time. Despite living in one of the most expensive cities in the world, Hana was able to raise money for her living expenses by working at jobs during her free time. During class one day, Hana met the love of her life, noting that he looked completely different than most students. Hana follows him after class and calls his attention to ask him if he submitted his attendance card yet. He tells her that he's actually not a student at the university. He leaves, and Hana follows him outside. This time, she offers to study together with him. Though a little hesitant, he agrees. Hana counts the days when he can see him again, eventually meeting up with the wolfman to study in a library together. The pair then take a walk along a riverbank while getting to know each other. That night, Hana confesses that she has feelings for the wolfman. However, the man seems shocked at the confession and tells Hana that she needs to know something about him. Before he can say anything though, he leaves, saying he'll tell Hana the secret tomorrow. Tomorrow arrives, and Hana waits at their usual meeting spot. However, Wolfman is nowhere to be found. After waiting for hours, he arrives and takes Hana to a spot just outside the city. Here, the Wolfman then tells Hana the truth, that he's a werewolf. Hana discovers that the stories surrounding werewolves, such as them eating and attacking people, or needing a full moon in order to transform, are just myths. The Wolfman is revealed to be a descendant of the Japanese wolf, long considered as extinct a hundred years ago. His parents told him the secrets of their lineage and then said to not reveal anything to anyone. When his parents passed away, he was taken in by relatives who didn't know a thing about his true form. Some time passes, and the two eventually become a couple and move in with each other. Their little fairy tale bliss blooms as Hana gets pregnant and gives birth to their first child, Yuki, inside their tiny apartment without asking for a doctor's help or to get assistance from a midwife for fear that the baby might come out as a wolf. Pretty soon, Hana is pregnant again with their second child. This time, they have a baby boy named Aim. As soon as Aim is born, however, the wolfman dies after encountering an accident while hunting for food for his family. Though devastated and left alone to raise their children, Hana forces herself to move on and she takes a leave of absence from college. However, life as a single mother is quite difficult for Hana, as her children constantly switch from their human form to their wolf form, especially Yuki, who is a little too energetic and curious for her own age. Taking care of two wolf pups also means that Hana must put up with the constant destruction of her things. It was also a problem when they got sick, because Hana didn't know whether to bring her children to a pediatrician or to the vet. Still, Hana persevered and tried to understand how to raise her children through the use of books. Hana also takes care to not let other people mingle too much with her young kids for fear that their true selves might get discovered. Noise complaints from neighbors also bring in new problems for Hana, forcing her to bring her kids outside whenever they start to cry or howl. Neighbors also sent social workers to Hana's place after discovering that her children are still unvaccinated. Soon after, Hana moves her kids to the countryside, away from people's prying eyes. Hana moves them all in an abandoned house, deeming it safe enough for her children to switch back and forth between their human and wolf forms. Hana then gets to work into renovating the entire house. Hana tells her kids not to let other people know that they are half-wolves for fear that they may get in trouble or even get killed by people, but she does let her children learn how to hunt by bringing them often to the mountain. While Yuki seems to be quite the natural at it, Aim has a hard time tapping into his natural instincts. Han also tries tending to her own farm in order to help alleviate their expenses. However, she has trouble sustaining it. With the help of a prissy but nice neighbor, Mr. Nurasaki, Hana manages to grow her own crops. Soon after that, Hana makes friends with some of the locals, most of whom give her tips on farming too. One winter day, Aim almost drowns in a river after trying to hunt. Yuki saves him just in time, and Aim comes out of the whole ordeal feeling confident about his hunting abilities. Yuki begs for Hana to let her go to school, and Hana agrees on the condition that she'll keep her wolf form a secret.
Yuki easily makes friends at school due to her lively and friendly energy. Meanwhile, Hana gets herself a job as a park ranger. At school, Yuki quickly sheds her tomboyish ways and adopts a graceful and girly personality so her friends will like her more. Hana makes her a pretty new dress to help her daughter fit in school, which quickly works out in Yuki's favor. Aim, on the other hand, still doesn't like school very much. One day, a transferee by the name of Sohei enrolls in Yuki's class. This boy immediately knows something is up with Yuki. This leads Yuki to avoid Sohei, fearing that her secret will get discovered. Sohei confronts Yuki about her behavior soon enough, and this makes Yuki even more apprehensive about talking to him. Sohei chases Yuki around school and finally corners her. Yuki transforms into a wolf and injures Sohei unexpectedly. Hana is called by the school admins to meet with the boy's parents and their teachers. At this meeting, Sohei tells everyone that a wolf attacked him, saving Yuki and Hana from getting in trouble. After this, Sohei and Yuki become fast friends. Meanwhile, Aim seems drawn to the mountains, opting to learn wilderness survival tips from an old fox he met in the forest. Aim brings his mother to meet his master who lives deep in the forest. This fox teaches Aim how to get stronger and how to hunt effectively. Aim seems to be at ease in the forest, which makes Hana happy as well. One night, Aim and Yuki fight over whether they should live as humans or live as wolves. The fight leaves their house in ruins, and both children end up injured. Some time passes, and Aim gets increasingly worried about his master up in the mountains. He comes back at home, telling Hana that his master has little time left on this earth and wants Aim to take over his duties at the forest. Hana begs her son to stop going up the mountains, fearing for his safety. Aim relents, for now. A storm gathers, and Yuki is let out at school early. Hana gathers her things to pick up Yuki, and Aim, despite his mother's begging, leaves to go up to the mountains and visit his master. Hana panics and follows him up the mountains in spite of the harsh storm. Meanwhile, Yuki and Sohei are left alone at school after the other kids have all been picked up by their parents. Somewhere in the forest, Hana falls off the edge of a hill, getting injured in the process. As she slips into unconsciousness, she mutters worriedly about her son. At the school, Yuki and Sohei hide in their classroom. While alone, the two talk amongst themselves. Sohei reveals that his mom got married and is currently pregnant. She also told Sohei that once the baby is born, Sohei will be discarded. Sohei has already decided to run away when that happens, saying he'll live as a lone wolf. Yuki shares her secret to Sohei and transforms into a wolf. She tells him that she had been the one who hurt him way back then. Sohei, in an unprecedented turn of events, tells Yuki that he's known all along. He also promises that he'll never tell anyone about her secret, making Yuki happy. Somewhere in the forest, Hana dreams about her wolfman. Her late husband tells her that she did a great job raising their children. He also tells Hana that their children will learn to find their own paths and that they'll be just fine. We suddenly cut to Aim carrying his mom to safety before going back into the forest just as Hana wakes up. Hana helplessly watches as her son runs wild and free, disappearing into the mountains. Aim's howls echoes through the forest though and Hana finally lets her son go, knowing he'll be just fine. A year after Aim left, Yuki also moved into a middle school dorm. Yuki narrates that after 12 years of raising them, Hana felt like she had just lived out a fairy tale. Despite how quickly time passed them by, Yuki says that her mother had been extremely satisfied, making Yuki extremely happy. Now alone at the house, Hana still lives peacefully in that old house, hearing Ames howls from time to time. And that concludes this tearjerker of a movie. We hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, bye!